Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, and one third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the Lamb wherever going. Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, uh, yeah, this epistle here, you know, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem, Shah, just uh, coming back to, you know, understanding who we are as a people, His chosen people, bro. Um, and these times that we're coming in, you know, with all these uh, prophecies happening upon the earth, we we are to cleave unto Yahweh Hashem, Shah, and have faith in His Word, um, and be, uh, you know, just humble to the fact that Yahweh Shema Shah has called us into this marvelous light and to have confidence in that knowing that we've done all we can as the scriptures proclaim done now having done all we can to stand stand there for firm let's go get that man because that's a that's a good one that's a good a strong epistle there that's a good strong um, scripture having done all to stand let's go get that real quick Yeah, in the in the book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse thirteen. We're gonna use this. Uh, I got the Bible here, but let's use this app real quick. Ephesians chapter six, verse thirteen. And I should have got my glasses, but it's it's already it's already gone. Let's start at verse ten. Ephesians chapter six, verse ten. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in your Yahweh Shema Shai and the power of his might. Right, so now this pistol here through the Spirit came. I, uh, I, you know, uh, man, uh, yesterday, of course, we're all going through it. Here being worn out. Esau Edom under, you know, here in, in Esau Edom's kingdom. You know, they're wearing out the saints in all different ways. Physically, spiritually, emotionally. Um... At the plantation, I had to, you know, just a hard, like I was speaking about at the, at the uh, live camp last night. Just, man, beat down yesterday. Just bad, man. Just. So, anyway, mo uh, most of the time, after something like that, I just, I just, j just resting, trying to let my body heal up. And I knew, I knew I had to do the work of Yahweh Shemasha today. So, of course, what we always do, man, Yahweh Shemasha told us to watch as well as pray and pray. Pray for all type of things all the time. Always praying in the spirit. And that's what we do, man. We pray because we come back to the understanding as our forefathers did. They kept that constant communication going with Yahweh Shema Shah. We're not going to let it go now. You know, coming back and understanding who we are. Yahweh Shema Shah has declared his word unto us. He's made his words known to us. He's shown us all these, all these, you know, everything. He's shown us everything, bro. He's shown us who our enemies are, who we are. He's shown us the false prophets. He's shown us uh, all the, the plagues that's about to happen. The beginning of it. The beginning of sorrows. You know, the love of many waxing cold. He's given us these elders, these apostles, starting with the elders, apostle Great Millstone, and all the other brothers on down the umbrella to show us these things, to preach, preach these things. He's told us to preach against this wicked-ass kingdom. Know that this is the end of this time, right? So, I prayed, and I prayed... For the strength, you know, just like yesterday, to you know, for the Lord to deliver me out of all, because I knew what was going to happen. I knew the the job that was at hand. I knew that, so I was pray for the Yahweh Hashem to deliver me, to help me out throughout throughout this throughout that day as He directs our steps. Prayed for the Spirit to come upon me today to do this epistle, and I could, uh, and I I had you know an outline of epistle because when I first came into the ministry, I remember this. Uh, I perceived them to be an angel. And I remember the words he told me. He said, "Hey, when the, you know when you get the inspiration, write it down, cause it's not gonna stay." And that's what I've been doing the whole time. So when the spirit come up on me, man, I just I write it down, and I practice that, just writing them down. Then you go you go go back later on. You can go search for the scriptures that that were there, cause it, like, as the words as as Shehab by Shemasha declared, you know, uh, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So when the Spirit come upon you, those are the words that you have about Shema Shai. This scripture, this scripture, this scripture, this scripture. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that, man. And um, so even so now, I was I thought I was going to do something else, another epistle. But 
this is it this is the one so ephesians coming back to who you know really man letting it sink in bro um letting it sink in man because we're about to come into some heavy times and it's talking we're talking about faith here okay ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in your how about shim hey this is, for some reason this scripture reminds me of um uh star wars when that uh who was that who was that the the seth lord or somebody he said the force is strong with this one you know i think he was talking about luke or somebody he's talking about somebody the force is strong with this one but anyway finally my brother be strong in your about shimashai and the power of his might coming back understanding that your about shimashai is all powerful creator of all things right Put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemashah, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemashah, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done, done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth. Right. There's only one truth, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, right? And that's that's the wisdom and knowledge that Yahweh Hashem has given us to, to to have faith in His Word. And Lord willing, this epistle would you know would will, will um, convey that. Um, wherefore, take up on take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh Hashem that you may be able to withstand all the withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shrouded with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, which is sword, which, which, take, Salaki, take, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh Shemashah. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Right. So we're watching and we're praying with all prayer and supplication, bro. Praying for the spirit, praying to be kept in the spirit, not that Yahweh Shemasha to cast us away. Hoping to be a part of that 144 elect number. Praying for mercy. In this time of Jacob's trouble and deliverance, praying for salvation, praying to be part of that number, man, 144, hopefully led. All right. And uh, no matter what, you know, coming to the understanding that Yahweh Shemashah is all powerful, and this thing has been declared. You know, he he did declare this this word from the end, from the the end from the beginning, right? And we're gonna go straight to the book of uh, Colossians, chapter one, verse nine, real quick. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 For this cause we also Since the day we heard it Do not cease to pray for you And to desire That ye might be filled With the knowledge of his will In all wisdom and spiritual understanding And that's what it's all about um, Going out preaching this word You know Put you in remembrance Of who you are Your so called Negro, Hispanic and Native American Indians Put you in remembrance Warn the children of Israel for you, how about Shem Asha? Warning, you know, through the foolishness, foolishness of preaching, it pleased him to save them that believed. For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, did not cease to pray for you, and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will, in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work. And increasing in the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Right. So we're not, as I uh, brought out last night, we're not no, no longer being tossed to and fro. Uh, we put off that old man. We've we've denounced corruption. We we really are taking this thing very seriously, man, because it's um, it's our number one. It's our reasonable service. Number two, we fear Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Number three, we understand what we what we're in. We understand what this is. We understand who we are, man. We really understand who we are. We're not no half-ass, you know, Israelite just woke up. No, Yahweh Shemashah has blessed us with the fear, with the knowledge, 
with the Holy Spirit, man, to understand who that we are His chosen people. That all these scriptures are true. Um, I want to jump over here real quick. Just, just hey, just just saying that. <clears throat> just saying that, man. Look, check it out. Judith, chapter 5, verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. Yeah, right. Right back to Psalms chapter 83. That these, all these other damn nations, they know that we're the children of Israel. So, therefore, they put us in these ghettos and all these uh, projects and pump us with the abominations. Tell us that the law, statute, commandments are done away with. Tell us to run amok. To do as thou wilt. To keep us away from Yahweh by Shemashah. But you can't stop prophecy. Verse 21. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. Right. Because now Yahweh by Shemashah has come back. And he's, he's died for our sins, bro. And he said anybody that believes in him. You know, is not condemned. Anyone that believed in him. They have turned away. And seek him wholeheartedly. You know, you're covered with the blood because you have faith in Yahweh Shemashai. Only a remnant shall return. It all comes clicking back together. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their God before them, and we become a reproach before all the world. Right. And just for this same pre reason, Yahweh Shemashai lift up Pharaoh so he should declare his, his, his might on the earth, bro. Back in the Colossians. Back in the Colossians chapter 1 verse 10. That ye might walk worthily of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of Yahweh Shemashah. Right. So as we continue on in the faith, we begin to understand, okay, you know, uh, we get chastised. We, we, we you know, uh, the brothers are, 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 are teaching us this understanding that, hey, we're not supposed to be doing this. We're not supposed to be... You know, even looking upon another man's wife to lust after her. All these all these laws and statutes, commandments that Yahweh Shem Hashem has given us for the perfecting of the saints. For, till we all come to the, you know, to the knowledge. Because we, we can't handle the word deceitfully. We can't be a hypocrite in this thing. We're coming back to who we are, which are the law, the, the children of Yahweh Shem Hashem, man. The prince of the power. Strengthen, verse 11, strengthen with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience. And long suffering with joyfulness. Right, we're, we're suffering knowing the truth, and we're just patiently waiting on Yahweh Hashem to come and redeem us. Okay? But at the same time, we, we're coming to the understanding okay, this is our punishment. Yeah, we did it. We did, we did, we did wrong. But even that, that's making us humble even more, knowing that we're just some filthy rags, and we do need Yahweh Hashem And we're even, even we, no, we're sorry for that thing, because Yahweh Hashem has declared that we're His chosen people. He's put up, uh, put us up on high above all nations, bro. Amen. He said, "You're, you're my, you're my children. I, I chose you out of all these other nations. I'm giving you law, statutes, commandments to put you above all these other nations." Understanding all that, bro? How could you be fucking around thinking, no, no, mm, mm? But see, that's the spirit that Yahweh Shem Hashem has given us, the 144, hopefully, late and one third of Israel, to not be fucking around in this thing, to, 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 to understand the severity of it. And you know, and that's talking about being faithful to you. How about Shemasha? Through all of this, bro, and turning away from this this world that we understand now belongs to Esau Edom at this time. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? It's theirs. Let them. But we, because we know that how about is about to come back, and this is over. This is all over. So, strengthen with all might according to His glorious power. Unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Give thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the inheritance of the saints in light. Right, with this understanding, with this truth. He's making us meet to be partakers of the inheritance, bro. Verse 13. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness? And has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. 
in whom we have redemption through his bl blood, even the forgiveness of sins. See? Who is the, who is the image of the invisible Yahweh? The firstborn of every creature. Okay, so check that out. The firstborn of every creature, right? That's I want you to remember that now, because we're gonna we're gonna go back over that. Who is the image of, of the invisible Yahweh Masha? The firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created, right? That are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Where whether they be thrones or dominion or principalities and po or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Now we wanna we wanna take in that for a second, right? Because that's where we're gonna come to the understanding of Yahweh Shem Shah being all powerful and he declared the end from the beginning. The Yahweh Shem Shah, our father, who we serve, who shows us, who created us to be his chosen people, who've come back and given us this understanding, right? Who said we're gonna be joint heirs with his son, right? Who is the image of the invisible God, Yahweh Shemasha, the firstborn of every creature. So, now, imagine, not imagine, believe the gospel. Yahweh was so powerful that he created Yahweh Shai, who in turn created all things. Then, he gave Yahweh Shai dominion over everything. That's how powerful Yahweh is, that he is so powerful. He created a powerful God and just control everything. And then he's the first fruits and he said we're gonna be joint heirs with him. And then we are in turn gods as well. Do you see this thing, boy? Power. Fear not. Yahweh by Shemasha. You know, if Yahweh by Shemasha be with us. Who can be against us, bro? Humbly speaking, hopefully being a part of the 144 elect number, you know. Humbly, bro. Don't want to be a part of that second death. Don't want to taste taste none of his wrath. Okay. Uh. uh It's about it's about to go down. When you how about Shemashai declare to open up them floods, you know, and and uh, start to judge this wicked as world. We want to be a part of that exempt number, okay? Come on, let's 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 uh go ahead and finish this up and get to the next scripture here. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body of the the church. He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And have made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him. I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometimes alienated the enemies of your mind by wicked works. Yet now have he reconciled brothers and sisters. Called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and reprovable in his sight. So all praises to Yahweh Shemashah. And Yahweh Shemashah said, He that believeth on me is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. So, Lord willing, the Lord put the Spirit on us to believe wholeheartedly in this word. Okay? Come on, let's go get some more. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 1, verse 3. Just to reiterate. John, well, let's start at 1. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Yahweh, and the Word was Yahweh by Shema Shai. The same was in the beginning with Yahweh by Shema Shai. All, all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So, now Yahweh Bashem has come back and he's given us that light so we can understand you know understand what's really happening around here bro and we can come back repent and follow him you know with the spirit that he's given us 
to believe, to have faith, to 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 get to prepare. Uh oh, so like it, brothers and sisters, that uh, the uh, the time ran out, and I'm gonna go to uh, just get that last scripture, just in case. In the book of John, chapter one, verse one. Just to reiterate what we read in Colossians chapter 1 verse uh, 9 verse through 23. John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Yahweh, and the Word was Yahweh by Shemashah. The same was in the beginning with Yahweh by Shemashah. All these, all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Okay? So once again, Yahweh created Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai created all other things. He created um, the, the the angels, the Alahayim, and they created everything else that you see. Okay? We're gonna jump over to Matthew chapter 7, verse 9. And that's I want to reiterate that again because um, yeah, so that's powerful how powerful Yahweh is that he created other beings. With all of this power. Power. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 9. Or what man. Well let's start at 7. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom, if his son asks as bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things unto them that ask him? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law that the, uh, and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be that go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and a few there be that find it. Right. Now, understanding that that, Yehobah Shemashai has given us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. To walk on that straight gate, to walk on that straight path, bro, and to uh, renounce corruption, let go of all these mortal thoughts and everything, and 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 strive for the straight gate, bro. Strive for the straight gate, understanding who the Lord really is, understanding His mighty power and all the wonderful things that He's got, you know, stored up for us. It helps us to understand that, hey, man, this is not this is not the end all be all. Yeah, how about Shema Shaz? Gonna establish an everlasting kingdom, bro, where dwell of righteousness. That's that's why we are coming back, understanding, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are you to be? Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter fifty-one, verse twelve. What? Well, wait. Let's jump back up. Let's jump back up. Let's jump up to. Uh, shoot, man, we gotta go to fifty-one, verse one. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh Shemashai, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Okay, because we understand, we believe, as the word declares, that all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Why? Because they really don't believe in this gospel. But we do. We believe in it, bro. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight. And thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judge. Behold, I was sharpened in iniquity, and in my sins did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou des desirest truth in, in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, there's, you know, Yahweh Hashem Hashem knows your heart. He knows who, who's his, who's really with this truth, who, who's really got this word inside of him and believing this word, and uh, following this, 
these laws, Dutch commandments, you know, to the best of our abilities. But, oh, but really, you know, uh, have fear of Yahweh Bashim and have the understanding. You know, walking in the spirit, bro. Walking in the spirit. Purge me with his sock, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be wet, whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh Shemashai, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me, bro. That's what we're talking about. And this is the point. Restore unto me the joy of my of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Right, because, hey, Yahweh Shemashai say, He's given, he's turned his face back toward us, brother. He's all powerful. He said, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. You know, we're asking for that free spirit, this Holy Spirit to continue to, to, to give us this, this understanding, this Holy Spirit, bro. Then will I teach transgressors thy way, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from the bloody guiltless, O Yahweh Shemashah, Thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud in thy righteousness. O Lord, open thy, thy, my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, or else I would give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of Yahweh Shemashah are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O Yahweh Shemashah, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion build thy the walls of Jerusalem then shalt thou be pleasant with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings then shalt thou be offered bullocks upon thine altar brothers and sisters I had to read that whole thing man because that's where it's at that's where it's at bro we're going to the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8 let's start at 7 and he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which your father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the earth. All right, so now we're starting to uh, receive this holy power, this, this power, right, that you have by Shemashai. It's given us, man, to understand when the when the world can't see it. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 13. If ye ask anything in my name, I will I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may be able, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Why? Because we are the Yashra. We are the sons of Yahweh by Shemashi, bro. We're his chosen people. We're coming back to who we really are. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Right? And we're, gonna, and we, we, hey, we're embracing this. We're having faith wholeheartedly in this. And we're, we're rejoicing and being glad in this, bro. And this is going to give us more faith and more and strengthen us even more. This is the power that Yahweh Hashem, Hashem Al Shah has given us at this time. Power. Okay? Whom the world cannot receive. There's so many Israelites out here, as we understand. Only a remnant shall return, man. Only a remnant shall return. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 7. For what nation is there so great who hath Yahweh Hashem Al Shah so nigh unto him them? As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. See? And we're calling on him to deliver us from the hands of our enemies. We're calling upon him to destroy this wicked ass kingdom and establish the kingdom of heaven, bro. To get us out of this hell hole. And have mercy on us. This is the book of Matthew chapter 14 verse 22. And straight, straight away, Yahweh Shai constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he set the multitude away. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, 
he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And the fourth watch of the night, Yahusha went unto them, walking on the sea. The miracles, okay? And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Yahweh spoke unto them, saying, Behold, be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if thou be, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee unto the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh So he walked on the water as well. Power through the Spirit, through Yahweh Bashim al Shah, because he believed, bro. But when he saw the wind bolstering, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. Yahweh Shah, save me. And immediately Yahweh Shah stretched forth his hand and called him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Right, man, we can't be doubting in all these times that's coming up. Okay, so now is the time to come back and believe the gospel. Now is the time to wholeheartedly believe all the things that was written aforetime, written for our learning, of all the, the mighty acts of our forefathers, how they always cried out to you, how about Shema Shah? They, know who, they knew who they were. They knew who the mighty how about Shema Shah was. Other nations knew it. Right? Whom the Lord has blessed, let no man curse, bro. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh by Shemashai that give it to all men liberally, the men of Israel, and unbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, right? Don't be afraid. Don't be thinking, oh, you yeah, know. No, man. This is not, it's time to come and exercise this uh, connection that you have about Shema Shah is established with us, reestablished with us. You know, this, this truth, this hope, this belief, this faith. He, he told us, he's all powerful, bro. He said, you, whatever you ask in my name, if it be his will, he'll give it to you. That's why we don't, we don't, we don't ask the Lord for, you know, we don't tempt him. We don't ask for all stupid stuff. But the things that we really, really need, you know, to forward this ministry, to forward our walk, to uh, uh, help us to endure to the end, you know, to keep us from, uh, he said, hey, cast all your worries and fears on me, right? Pray for those things, bro. But let him ask in faith, not wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of Yahweh Hashem Hashai. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Right. Come back to the faith, bro. And stay th and stay right there. We're about to wrap it up in a minute. So lucky that it... I didn't think it was going to take... Uh, it was going to go so long. This is the book of Psalms chapter 82, verse 2. Psalm chapter 82 verse 1 Yahweh Hashem standing in the congregation of the Almighty He judges among the gods How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the person of the wicked? Selah Defend the, defend the poor and fatherless Do justice to the afflicted and needy Deliver the poor and needy Rid them out of the hand of the wicked They know not, neither will they understand They walk in darkness, they walk on in darkness all the foundations of the earth are out of course. This is the, this the end, bro. This is the end of their wicked-ass kingdom. I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High, bro. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. We're the Lord's children. But ye shall die like men. And fall like one of the princes. Arise, O Yehobah Shemashah. Judge the earth. For thou shalt inherit all nations. So, you know... Whether we live or die, as the scripture proclaims, we're going to be with Yahweh Shemasha, bro. So we've come to terms with this. But we understand that this is the end of their kingdom. And the beginning of, of uh, you know, heaven is, is right behind this, bro. This, this is it. So we have in that faith that we're going to fall.
follow Yahweh Hashem Hashem even until the death. We gotta keep this faith even until the death. We 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 understand that Yahweh Hashem Hashem is with us even until the end, bro. And we understand that all these things are about to happen. Uh, and it's a. Hey. Hold on to your seats and have faith in Yahweh Hashem Hashem no matter what. He says some of you standing here would not taste of death. We understand there's going to be some martyrs going on. We understand that there's going to be um, at the righteous scarcely be saved. You know, where would the ungodly and the sinner appear? But we're going to through it all have faith in Yahweh Hashem Hashem knowing that he's all powerful. He's already declared the end from the beginning. He's already gotten the victory. He's called us out of darkness in his martyr's light. He didn't call us into this thing. Uh, as we're gonna get that. He didn't call us in this, and we gotta wrap it up because it's about to. The time's about to expire. He didn't call us into, into this for our destruction, right? Let's just go get that real quick. First Thessalonians. But Yahweh by Shemashah have not appointed us to wrath, but to but to obtain salvation. And that's First Thessalonians chapter five verse nine. Yeah, he have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation. Okay. Now we're going to get this in the book of uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength, and the kingdoms of our, our, our God, and the powers of, of Yahweh Shai. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which, which accused them before our God day and night. Right? And that's what they've been doing. Like I said, like we said before, uh, how about, like we said before, uh, they put us in these damn ghettos and stuff and pushed all these abominations down our throats, told us the law, such commandments, were down away with, had us worship a false god and false idol, all these things, the accuser of our brethren. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives until the death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. The most high raising up the standard. Give me that, Isaiah 59. Because these devils are going to come for us. We know this. It's written. Yahweh Shai told us, man. They're going to come for the, for, the, for the elect, man. Because they know, they know who the most high is dealing with, man. They know who the Most High got, where the Most High Spirit is dwelling. Not only do do they know, but the demons tell them, man. They know we ain't compromising. They can't be compromised over there, man. So those gotta be the men. <clears throat> gotta go ahead. Huh? It's Isaiah chapter fifty-nine, verse nineteen, and it reads: So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him that's right so the most high is going to lift up a standard against these devils this time see going back 2,000 years 3,000 years it wasn't time even though the most high would lift up and stand for a minute, but it wasn't for to raise up to uh, establish the kingdom of heaven. But during that time we just read about the most high rose up the Maccabee brothers as a standard for a little while. You know, to put them to put them uh, nations to flight. But the prophecy was we still had to go down and we still had to fall away. And that was part of it. That was part of us falling away with the, that, that whole Greek era was the Hellenization of the, of the people, of us. So the prophecy wasn't yet for us to be rose up to establish the kingdom yet. But we in that time to where the last time, the Most High's getting ready to raise us up and we ain't going to go down, man. He going to raise us, he going to raise up a standard against these devils to take them out. Because this is the last go, we ain't going into slavery again. All the prophecies is damn near fulfilled. Yo. Israel win at the end. We at the end. So we gonna win, man. We gonna win, man. We done been through many lives, many deaths. And now we at the end to where the most high is getting ready to raise us back up and put us in our righteous steed, man. He finna show, he finna show the world his power through us. Through the men he set up, man, beginning with the apostles and elders, man. 
He finna shoot, we finna shot the world. The we, we, the, we, the, we the underdogs, man. No military. Regular Joe Schmoes, nine to fives, plumbers, truck drivers, electricians, you know, carpenters, you know, maintenance men, warehouse workers. Yo. Go ahead. It's uh, verse 20. Go ahead, wait, wait, go read that again. Okay. Uh, 19. It's verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. And they gonna come like a flood. Give me the martial law, son. We're at the end, man. So we know that when they come, it's, they coming with everything and we that much closer to being, to receiving power, man. This is how they gonna come back as a flood, man. But Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is gonna lift up a standard against these devils. And when you look that word up, it means a way to escape, to take flight, yo, to disappear. Hey, it was it was certain uh, times in the uh, in the Gospels when all the people thrown Yahweh Shai, he disappeared in the midst of the crowd. Yo, didn't like Yahweh Shai you can say you shall do these things and pray. Them. So that's the time we living in to where uh, uh, miraculous, divine things are gonna happen, man. You know? That, that divine nature of your how about Shimei Awashai is gonna be put back on the earth. It's been missing for thousands of years, man. Thousands of years. Even going back then with the Maccabees, like I said earlier. The most high show the, the divineness that he has, man. He showed majestic power through men on the earth. But that hasn't been seen in thousands of years, man. It ain't been seen in thousands of years, man. You know? Uh, the, the power Samson had ain't been seen in thousands of years. King David, the 37 mighty men. The most I've been, he, he kept that. He put that to the side for the time we entering in now, man. You know? Because that's going to shock the world. That's going to, that's, how do you think the women going to want to be down? Because they're going to see the power the most high has given us. You know? It says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that's what we waiting on. That's why we, when you hear us say, man, we waiting for the white man to kick our dough in. You know what I'm saying? He gonna kick our dough in. They got about, about fucking time. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Yo, you know you've been watching this, check, tracing our phone, on our computers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to watch us through our cable boxes. Goddamn, uh, uh, perverts, man. That's right, he, he done, you know, he knows that he have but a short time, brothers and sisters, and uh, so all of this is about to be dissolved, and the kingdom of heaven is about to be established. So with that, hopefully this was edifying. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, with Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. And salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom Israel. Shalom.